Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating a cut file 12 by 12 layout using um, the Coco Vanilla Storyteller um, in a photo of my husband and I in the cut file that I'm using today is inspired by the open book with flowers um, theme that seems to be carried throughout this new collection from Coco Vanilla. Um, and this cut file is from Paige Evans and I feel that it mirrors it and um, works with it very well. And it, it was right along the line of the story that I wanted to tell. Um, so I am fighting here with a new cut mat new cutting mat and a doll blade so I had a little bit of issues getting it off um, but it is very detailed cut file um, so be sure to if you use something like this to take your time so that you don't tear a flower like I did but I did glue it back together and it worked out great um, so I'm going to go through my six by eight paper stack um, pull out some solids and even some stripes and I'm going to back this entire cut file which honest to Pete takes me about mm, an hour to an hour and a half it took forever. Um, it, <laughs> it was 100% worth it in the end because I absolutely adore the way that this came out. Um, and this also, when you work with a cut file, it, you also don't have to do as much embellishing. Um, so this does end up being the bulk of the layout. So I really don't mind taking the time and spending it backing all of these beautiful pieces. Um, so I am going to take the time and back this whole thing. I do just trace around it. Um, typically, that's just the way I do it. There's a lot of ways to do it. And then I just glue it down with some glue. I let it sit for a second. And then making sure that I don't cut the cut file, I go back in with a smaller pair of scissors and trim it up. Um, after all of that, this is what it looks like. And you guys, I found the paper in this collection that matches this perfectly but it's so the flowers are so small and the pattern is so busy that I didn't think I felt that the cut file got lost over top of it so what I'm gonna do is kind of offset a white sheet of paper with this um, at an angle to give it a little bit more of pizzazz I guess you could say um, and then I'm going to cut this and square it off with the floral paper um, that way in the end whenever you do look at the layout it is the white sheet that is offset um, and before I add all of my layers I do run that through my sewing machine with a um, uh, with navy blue thread and just stitch the left side and the top and it turns out awesome I love it um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a photo of my husband and I, and I'm going to use some bits and pieces of the six by eight paper that is left over from whenever I was backing the cut file. Um, I like to do this because it helps use up a lot of those little scrap pieces that I always tend to have laying around. Um, so this is one of the ways that I like to use up those small pieces. Um, I'm going to grab a couple of those colors and I'm just going to layer them. Um, and three layers behind my photo try to figure out where I want to place this in and I do want to tuck it underneath that yellow flower and um, some greenery so I just kind of get the idea of what I don't want to glue whenever I put this down and then I glue the rest of the back of the cut file um, so when I do lay this down I make sure that I lift up that greenery and um, the yellow flower and even the tip of that pinkish reddish flower because I want to make sure it doesn't get stuck down because my photo now is going to slip right underneath those and I love how that looks. Um, so I'm going to use the black foam words that are from this kit and my title for my layout is going to be Our Story. And I think this title paired with the open book with the floral theme is just like the perfect title. Um, and I try to put this story in a couple of different places, but I really like how the U and the R in our nestles right in that top little loop of the story like that. Um, so that's how I'm going to end up using that. I felt, I felt that it fits in there perfectly and I just make it work. Um, so to keep with the whole open book and floral theme, I am going to cut this piece out off of one of the cards. Um, I am going to fussy cut that out and use it as an element. There is a um, piece of ephemera in the ephemera pack that is the open book and floral, but I have used it already on another layout and I wanted to do it again with this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut it and call it a day. Um, I did use this, um, the piece that I'm cutting now as kind of a guide as to what colors I wanted to back my cut file with. Um, there was the red 
the yellow and the blue. So that's how I kind of, it, that's how I, it helped me determine what colors I wanted to make my flowers when I was doing this. Um, so now that that is cut, um, I also did fussy cut a couple banners. There were two there, and then I find a third one here on the sticker sheet, and I create a small little banner cluster up there up at the top, um, over top of my stitching just to add something. Um, I'm going to staple those down instead of gluing them because I help. I think that, that helps make it, makes it look more like a banner. Um, and then I'm going to actually pop the banner on the left and the one on the right up onto some foam adhesive so that it keeps it up off of the page and gives it some more depth. Once I get those put down, um, I do use an arrow um, on this sticker sheet as well. I'm actually going to move that down by the um, swooshy loop of the Y, <laughs> um, and I'm going to pop it up on some foam adhesive. This is going to help point in the direction of where my journaling is going to end up being. Um, my journaling is going to end up being on the bottom right. So I think that that helps kind of direction point the eye towards where that's going to be. Um, I'm going to grab a little blue label off of the same sticker sheet and put a date on there um, to date my project. And then I'm also going to go through the bottom word bits um, that are on here. I love the phrases on here and there were so many that I wanted to use at first. I only had this one. Um, but in the end, I do end up adding another one because they were absolutely perfect. Um, I love Coco Vanilla's word bits like that. Um, they're, what they say on them always seems to match everything that I do. I really enjoy that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and go through. I do have some of the chipboard pieces. I don't have all of them. Um, I do have the ephemera pack that I'm going to go through. And I pull out a couple butterflies. Um, this is where I pull together that bottom right piece. I try to use some of the banners like that one there I really liked, um, but it ends up being too much in the end. Um, but I do add that banner up at the top that says special to me. Um, those two butterflies will stay there. Um, this piece I do end up popping up on foam adhesive. I feel like it needs that little bit of lift up on top of my photograph. Um, but the two chipboard butterflies, I do end up just gluing them straight down to the page. Um, when I was peeling it off, I peeled too much of the blue one off, so I had to use some liquid glue to put that down. Um, so I'm flipping again through more of the die cuts. I am going to use a couple of the die cut hearts. Um, and then this camera. Um, I love this camera. I couldn't decide between the blue or the orange. Um, but I do end up lifting up the T in the word story, and I end up using the orange one um, instead of the blue, but I think that that adds a really nice touch, um, adds a little bit of a pop of color above that title, um, and it also goes well with the story that I end up telling here in a few minutes. I do end up, I, I pull that banner off and on, I swear, a hundred times, but it goes. I chuck it. And then this little piece is going to come in and it's going to stay there. Um, and I do like that half circle there on the bottom right. I think it helped kind of completes that cluster because I'm going to add that along with a few hearts. Um, and then I am going to do my journaling um, on that white rectangle as well. I didn't know what to journal and sometimes when I don't know what to journal or I don't know how I want to finish a cluster, that's where I kind of was at that point, I go off and I work on other things. So I did pop up that heart there on some foam adhesive and then I had to walk away because at this point I just wasn't 100% sure how I wanted that bottom right to come together. And after I walked away for a little bit and then came back, um, it felt right. So I just embraced it and I went with it. Um, so that half circle is going to get glued down. That um, banner piece is going to be glued down and then I did type out my journaling on some sticky paper. Um, I used a typewriter font and then I'm going to add a couple of uh, the heart ephemera pieces to the right there. Um, the journaling spot for this was quite small compared to what I really wanted to write. Um, so because I get a little wordy. Sometimes it's easier to fit in more text and more of a story, um, which was the whole reason why I typed this one instead of actually um, handwriting it out. So I did add that second um, word bit there, and I wanted to add in one of those wood buttons, which I added in the little opening spot there. And then lastly, I am going to come in and add loads of these little tiny epoxy hearts, which are 
absolutely perfect. Um, I need these in every color possible, and the size of these are just perfect. They're great for layouts. They're great for uh, Traveler's Notebook. They're great for Project Life because they're not oversized. They're a nice smaller size. Um, so I'm going to add some on the camera. I'm going to add to the right of the cluster over there and then also over to the left. Um, and that is, I believe, going to wrap up my project. Um, thank you everyone so much for stopping by today. I hope you have been inspired. Um, I will put links to the cut file and also to the kit down below if you have um, in the description box. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, and until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.